combo. <laughs> Love Blue Red for your choke. Yeah, we tried to broadcast to Hash Mob there. But I got, oh, I'm locked out of that channel now, apparently. Oh, oh sorry, Hash Mob, you're lost. Hey, hey, we're here. We got Blowfish in the house. Blowfish Glass from Kelowna. Vagabond Glass from just up the road here. Everywhere. Everywhere. He's a Vagabond. <laughs> Jordan Glass <laughs> over here. And uh, thank you very much for joining us, Spot TV. I want to thank my sponsors, Vancouver Seed Bank. Yeah. Ca. Yeah. Their Vancouver Seed Bank will deliver everywhere and anywhere. Get yeah. in touch with them for all your seed needs. Uh, not just cannabis, but tobacco and vegetables and all that's kinds fantastic. of delicious things. But mostly cannabis, that's what I go for. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's move on. We got some delicious medical sponsors. I want to thank you for sending me my medicine in the mail. We have the Beard Brothers Society. We have the Kind yeah. Selections. And we have some Prairie Mountain Lifestyle. That's upstairs in my cupboard because I've got chili. Uh, anyway, beautiful medicine for beautiful people, by beautiful people, get in touch with them, all your medical needs, you don't need those licensed producers, I'd say. Uh, hey, Dirty Dave, you know what's funny, I could have ran up and got that shirt. Yeah. Take two, fuck, I forgot to get a shirt from Dirty Dave, my whole closet full of Dirty Dave shirts, and I'm still wearing the sweaty one I wore this morning. So, uh, I'll go get changed in a moment here. Wardrobe, I just brought my change in a sip. Dirty Dave Limited, man. He's a great guy, honest man, and he's got great t-shirts. Get him at CCHQ downtown, Mark Jeremy's headquarters. Hey, Ain Kilns in the house. Thanks, Ain Kilns, for helping me get the right tools for the job. And Remo Nutrients. Oh, boy. Beautiful nutrients to get beautiful plants. And Remo's got 18 international awards. The man knows what he's talking about. He sure is passionate about his work. If you know River Grower, you know what I mean. And, uh... So support your local community and support these sponsors. And don't forget about my beer sponsor, 12 Kings Pub in Vancouver. I've got a couple delicious beers here to enjoy from 12 Kings Pub. They're in Vancouver at 12th and Kingsway. You should try them out. They are a small little pub with the best craft beers and the best sports bar in Vancouver. So, thank you to those sponsors. Now you know where to spend your money. Good people all around. So, uh, yeah, man, here we are. So, Blowfish just showed up, so we're just still all, we're all chit chatting and getting all settled. But yeah, this is what we're all like. This one got my Show own. and tell. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. That's in there. I didn't know to leave it. Here, wait, wait. I got the spotlight. Yeah. I don't seem to like it. Oh, it's torn. I like, oh, I think it's awesome. Yeah. Pretty amazing. What else did you got, Ashley? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's some gold fuming there. The way that lens is. I should just bring the camera over. This is good stretching for me though. I feel like it's a yoga pose. Yoga pose is called reach for the marble. It's funny that you say that. I started like just using this. So yeah, amazing work. And look at the backing. I should show you that beautiful feathered backing. <laughs> yeah, great work. One more? Oh, wait, one more. Wow. What is that? Tight dot stack there or what? What's your what's your What's the secret? What's this one? Is that a dots? Uh, yeah, just fume inside the tube and then and dots, layers yeah. of dots inside Old the tube. Old school styles. I love my wow. I love it. Well I thought we'd do a fumey marble today. Well okay. all three of us are kinda of old school. Thank you, Bond, and you and I. Jordan's new school. Yeah. He's the new generation. It's a bit of the new and the old. But you're, you can learn something yeah. here, bud. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so, okay. yeah, what do you want to... So, anyway, so both has just showed up, so we haven't had a chance to really decide what we're going to make today. So, that's kind of cool. You guys are in on that decision-making, too. So, we'll just now decide what the hell we're going to make, and we'll go forward with that. So, maybe we'll sketch, or, or maybe we'll just come up with it on a First of all, chat room, how is the sound? And is it actually bloody working now? Is there anybody out there? Yes. Music too hey loud. Hey ho. Woo. Is the music too loud? Oh, you are loud. Yeah. No. Great. Yeah, right. Okay. So we're what are we going to make today? I like the fumey stuff. Let's get into some of that. Well, the first one is we don't have any gold. Here. Yeah. Let's get some gold. We're on the we're on the silver budget. So we could do something like that. Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah, that's right. Sure. Well, last time I did a uh, implode the flowers, uh, stop and implode the roses episode. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. I uh, yeah, it turned out did great. a flower enclosure where I flattened it and did like little brackets of clear on the back and then you know also floated those. So I had like the rose petal effect, but I've never done the dots. Oh, and it, just trap the air bubble. Yeah, we could trap the air bubble. Did you, you have you, some kind of Did you touch the stick? stick? Yeah. The, the I, I know done. I have it's like a dentist pick, I don't know where it goes. Oh, no, 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 any kind of piece of metal. Sure. The, yeah. I got a dabber. Yeah, we'll use tungsten. Okay. Turn on my, oh look, I'll turn on my, I got an electric nail. Thanks to Earl Electric and Culture Rising in London. I think it's great. It's amazing. Yeah. So I'm going to just turn it on now. So Leave a save. It's like it's just starting up. Maybe that's more that's heating up. What's that? Last episode's one. Oh like yeah, we can show this off. Look at that thing. That's crazy. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. The penetration through there, watching him do that. Yep. Yeah. Like, Penetration through the donut, little banger hanger on the side here, and look at Vagabond's twerking creature here. It's pretty awesome. I guess I gave it the twerk. You gave it the twerk. Demon but, uh, it's pretty awesome. She's, her ass is just way out there. I love it. Uh, hopefully you can get that angle. Is that like a red elephant? Uh, Pretty fun. And there's the Jordan Ake marble. Good job, Jordan Ake. Thanks, man. it up a bit. My yeah. good friend uh, so saw in the city a couple weeks ago, Shatterbeard. Hey ho. Oh. This is some uh, alien OG. So, thanks brother. I appreciate that. I think I'll have a nice big wall in this. Great big one to get things started. Pretty like beautiful stuff right here. I haven't had it yet. Then we got some Wi-Fi OG from Kind Selections. And we've got some cotton candy from Beard Brothers. I'm gonna hit all these on today's episode. Of, uh, four mil here. Let's cut that off. 
Where did that go? There it is. So it's a pretty small piece. But we're only doing one marble. Yeah. 420. 420? Already. I'll just that that down. Like that. So we'll pick up the silver like that, and it immediately turns into a little puddle. And then I quickly just heated it up on the end of the rod to make sure it's going to stick on there. So now it's not going to fall off as easy. Okay, so we've got the silver ready. And you've got I've got some 25 mil. Let me get the handle. I've got a handle ready. Nice big handle. Oh, okay. Sorry, oh. GTT should never make a lot of noise. So if you hear that noise, you know something's not right on your adjustment of your knobs here. Yeah, I'm just going to reach in and... Uh, so you've got, okay, yeah, I just okay. go right off this side. Yeah, I thought you might, so but I got that here too. Here's that, in case you wanted to go right off the rod. Yeah, yeah, but that's fine. But that's a little bit heavy, right? I'm getting old, that's man. 20, I'm getting old. That's that's okay. So I'll just get this bolt hot. I'll come in here, and we will just glob onto that rod here. Let's get the folks a better look. So, you just grab that out of the kill. You never done that before? No, never. I just oh, shit. There we go. So, it's not exactly on uh, perfect axis. So I'll have to adjust that. That's a funny part. Is that Tonka? That's hilarious. That's a very playful Yeah. Like every other glass blower. At least you only brought one dog. Some of us glass blowers have a lot of dogs. <laughs> I'm just gonna tweezer it over so it's a little more straight on the axis here. Okay, and now I'm just gonna clean up the edge here that I've used a scratch tool and uh, scratched and broke. So there's gonna be a small line of bubbles. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just clean up that small line of bubbles. And I'll just use a six mil punty to swipe that off. So I'm gonna swipe off my uh, scratch line here. Let's see how clean this is. It doesn't look very clean. And so when you're separating that, you're just, are you just feeding it and pulling it off? No, like, yeah, no, I scratched it and broke it. Oh, you do on that side? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Now that's a little bit of a, Mark, so I'm just going to clean it up there. Do you do this too? Yeah. Well, especially with the marbles, too, you have a clear lens, right? Exactly. So, get so how much of this am I going to need? Uh, it's not quite 25. Okay. Uh, okay. okay, so am I making a flat patty? Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is flatten it down and make a nice big flat patty. How much of the prep do I want to use? Like, you're good right now. Like, I would just that much? Yeah? That much yeah. already? Okay, great. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, How about the width of your torch, yeah? A little bit more? Yeah. Oh, I'll ball it up. I don't just, know. Yeah, depending on Well, because size. I want to give it a bit of heat here because I did some swiping. So the walls are... Let the glass glow a little. All right, so I think we'll go for uh, a flatten. And do you do it like this way? No. You go this way? Yeah. Okay. I've never done it that way. Oh. Sometimes I go that way. Really? Should I go that way? Dude, I want to see it. I just, and oh, I put my hand behind it. Well, Wait, just with my fingernails. It's thick graphite. But it's thick graphite. And then I just push against. Okay. And you can really kind of judge the, uh, you can see it, right? So yeah. you can judge it a little better. So there we have a nice big, wherever is that what you would have? Roughly? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're on track. Here we go. We're doing I feel good. Like you've done this part before. Uh, I might have done that part before. Yeah, once or twice. <laughs> once or twice. But honestly, not very often. I don't make a lot of marbles. You are the marble pro. Marble queen. Okay, so now what? I've got okay, my flat body. We're going to fume it. Okay, how heavy? Do you want to do it? Well, you want the heavy white. Pretty like the heavy? Silver, you, want it, yeah. you want it that white? Yeah. So heavy. I like that white. We could go a little lighter. But, uh, and I do the edges a bit more just because it's gonna burn it off. Yeah, I got that. Well, okay. okay, so here we go. So a little more reducing. 
playing a little two ball there. Gonna <laughs> let the uh, silver cool down, and then I'll come in and just I wiggle the silver in the plane like this. Oh, it's in the side. No legs on the bench. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Light does fall away. Yeah, small bubble. Tiny little dewdrop instead of a balloon. Yeah. Oh, there she goes. 
So there's that cold seal. Look, right here drops everything. That's all you Only one. It's silver, so it's fine. Okay. It's just now we'll put a better seal on it. Yeah, a little galaxy dust on it. Yeah. <laughs> How's your beer? Uh, it's full, thank you very much. Fresh. This one looks like it's Which one? There we go. Now that I know, right? Well, it might not that. fall apart. <laughs> we're getting a little better seal on there. So it's one of those do as I say and not as I do things here. I suggest you put a good seal on your uh, blank before you get started. Well, there you go. Excitement in the shop. It's like NASCAR. Everyone wants me to drop something. I swear. When's it gonna crash? All right, so let's cover these dots again. Next row. I agree. And then it should burn off all this, the rest of 
So I'm trying to heat the edge of the tire and the base of the tire, correct? Yeah. And now I'm going to do a slight angle down. See that angle? And that's the implosion part. It's just the act of gravity. Oh, 
Yeah, Vagabond's got his Basset Hound and his Mexican Chihuahua cross here. Chihuahua Pitbull. Chihuahua Pitbull. That's why I'm saying. And uh, I don't see that. Jordan didn't bring his dog. That's something. I have no idea what the dog is. It just and, looks like. Uh, that's what it looks like, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 I thought the exact same. That's that starter right here. There's got to be a six or seven dogs. Oh, I'm sure there's 30. <laughs> Feels like 30. Okay, so I'm going to finish this. Now, how far down am I going to go? Ashley? Go fish. Get back to work. How far should I go well, you work it? No, I no, no, no. Just check it. Should I blow that and leave it, or should we go all the way down and make it round marble? Should we slam something onto this uh, max out of here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull that, eh? Yeah. That's right. Pull that center out? Yeah. Because then we have to look at it. It's not deep. Yeah. I could fill that in. Oh, yeah. 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 Ye
the flame that's on the walls. It's not a it's not a super powerful lake flame. Two of those would be better. And you got that later? Yeah. Yeah, there's one here too. Okay, so I got a patty ready for you. Want this? Sure. I'm gonna do some art, but then uh, maybe you can melt it down with a big one. Yeah, sounds good. Are you gonna do fume or color? No, I'll do color. Okay? That's alright, I can do fume. Anything you want. Um, I'm just asking because I'll, then I'll get a fume stick ready for you. No, I'll do color. Okay. I need some more color. Though. I'm gonna adjust the camera. Where's your camera going? Let's get that back. Mobile here for a sec. been dabbing with this color. <laughs> Covered it up. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. That's funny. We won't use that one. Good stuff. Uh, that's going to need some color. There we go. Go ahead to put on there. Uh, that is electric blue velvet. Electric blue velvet. Nice. And your red, whatever red you have sitting up here. Garnet, I think. Oh, um, I need another color. Would you grab me any color you like out of his out of his class? Help yourself, Vagabond. Do you have a blue right now? Uh, any, yeah, blue would be great. Or uh, like a teal, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that looks done. great. Aqua, teal. That's teal, I think. Uh, no, I'm going to draw a line. Oh, wait, this is, okay. Oh, yeah, this is bubbly saying. stuff. Whatever this is, this is super bubbly. I'll use something else then. It's really teal, you know. That's I probably teal. really teal bubbled a lot for me. Oh, oh the fritz is great. Uh, on top. Full stitch is what I like. I can use black for it, even. Whatever you want. Would you have a black? Black? Yeah, I got some black here. Oh, okay. I should the bed on that one. Oh, that's it. So there is something to stringer, so I'm going to pull a black stringer. A little stringer on the go.
remember how to do it. So starting with five dots in the center, five big dots around. Now I'm going to draw a line connecting the big dots around. Really? It gives a really nice enclosure flower there. Now I need a tungsten pick. You know what, even that, um, that elbowed one with the wood handle, just put your hand to the right. Put your hand to the right, 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 right. That'll do. Right. I don't know where they are. So now I heat up on each dot with the line. Oh, you're going to drag it the whole way? I just pull it right away. Okay? So you tungsten raking that out? Yeah. Oh, I didn't expect that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there. If I made a little mess, then I'll clean it up with some clear. That basset hound's a real howler, eh? You hear my dog out there? Yeah. I'm just letting him bark. We'll keep the guy, but he's away for me. Cool. I've never seen that before, man. No? No. Oh, this is a really good flower technique. All my flower rings and pendants, this is the flower I go with. All right. Super simple, fun, fun design, and every time you change colors, it's a completely different thing, right? Cool. Raking from center or from the outside dots? No, just the outside dots. Just the outside dots. Just where the, the line connecting them. There's a line connecting the big dots. Then you go from where they connect and pull that out. That'll be your petals. This is the last of the pattern. One dot of usually green. This is more what the uh, the leaf, the green leaf that's gonna encase the flower, right? Wrap around the flower. Jordan's trying to make a marble and watch this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I need you on your big flame to unfold this. You want me to unfold yep, that? You're gonna you're gonna bring okay. it down, smash it down, smash it down, it smash it. I'm gonna take the camera. Put that there. And then you can just spin yep. that around and go on that angle. I and I'll you. set this right there. Make sure that those cords might have just tangled. I think there's room there. Here, implode that. Alright. Yeah. I got you covered. Is it right if I drop it a couple times? Sure. You're going to see it just okay. start to fold, right? Alright, so implode it. Do I compress it a bunch of times? A bunch of times. Alright. So we're going to do what we did earlier. 
pretty bright flame. We'll need a darker lens on that. Yeah. Do you want to just hold my uh, shade pores up to it, or? I don't know where those are. There they are. We'll try that. I think that makes a better difference. Not at all. Not at all, right? Eh? Bright as fuck. Not at all. Yep, no difference. Okay, so I've got the whole patty super hot, the face of it. And I'm on my angle. I'm just going to do my first compression. So we're here at Jordan. So we got a little uh, implosion marble here. And we're sorry, it's a chaos. And uh, we got some dot stacks on the bottom. And then the chaos pattern you can kind of see. It's still pretty hot. The lens isn't really fun or functional right now, so this is gonna look good, man. beautiful when it's done. Good shape, looks good. Thank you, sir. I think I got just the right amount of fume on the inside there to give it like those indigo blues too. Oh yeah. So, I'm hoping that's decent. So I'm going to bring this all the way down, Rick. Like the center. Like oh yeah, it's going to pull down. all together. Yeah, so it's got like a lily flower, like a tube. Oh yeah. I got gotcha. you. Oh. Yeah, go back over on that side if you think that's... Well, we're quite wrapped up around the... Uh, around that nail. We could just uh, unplug this part. Sorry about the camera moving, folks. Go back to the corner. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that Enjoy the view of my ceiling for a moment. Oh, do you need me just to hold this? If you would, right. oh, if you would, if you would, just hold it. So I really gotta focus the heat on the center of this more and get this part imploding. Okay, I think you better just put the camera back where it originally goes. Yeah, let's do that and get that. Sorry folks, shaky cam again. Oh Rick's taught, taking you on a on a boat in the sea, has you? Oh yeah. We're getting motion sickness. Oh, almost done. Oh it has to be higher than Okay. Or adjust. Or I'll adjust it. I know where it goes. Hey folks, let's get that camera back in place. That should be close. How do I do? Toggle this slice. How do I do, Emily? How's that angle? That's perfect, man. Okay, so now we're back on steady cam. Steady cam. Yeah, basically, what he's doing is every time he pushes it, the color goes up and into the center and the clear comes over the top of it rolls over and pulls that clear that color up and in and when it comes all together it comes up and in and gets the full glass again on top it starts to fold back and the color fold backs out kind of like the uh, mushroom implosion that you did last night all right so you want me to bloom it all the way well just keep just keep downward angle right? just downward angle and it roll on itself blast off like okay. a Pay attention, right here. <laughs> go, well, go, just go faster. Go bigger. <laughs> bigger plan, man. Use your mirage. Alright. Yep. Include this, please. Keep going. Keep going. When you're doing this uh, really quickly, make sure your funnel in the center doesn't get too uh, sharp. Because that's really hard to recover from that. So we keep, but I don't think it is here yet. Nope. We'll give it one little slow. If you get off center when you're mashing, you can always forcefully just kind of center it a little bit, right? Yeah. Just a, just a hair. If you go too far, then you're... Sometimes I'll drop it on the, in the marble hole and then pull it back to center. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I brought my own. Yeah.
stay on top of it, man. Stay on top of it. Thank you. Thank you. You really want this to be even really in there. You want more on a small one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. But that's when I just find that cheap, but maybe I can put it in so hot. Yeah, I win. Yeah, yeah. Cherry <laughs> wood mold. So, did you guys pick up on that conversation? Very <laughs> good. Right, right. Thank you. Really, is pulling together now. Now, yeah, see from this angle on this side, we can see it. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It all pulls together. Yeah. 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 Really fold it over on itself. Yeah, I screwed up my last implosion on a hollow tube because I didn't keep blowing it out and I didn't come back and blow it out. I have to use the honey bones, you're not supposed to blow it to the honey bone at all. It kind of just like collapse on itself. Yeah, so yeah I screwed it up real bad. I used to do all hollow implosions and dots. But now I'm going solid in dots. Yeah. It's so much easier. And That's how I started doing one too, and it just kind of works. It all comes together real good. Yeah. Yeah. Solid rod. Yeah. I find the whole impulse match when it's straight up. As water, water this, yeah, you have more control of what blue notes. Right. As opposed to straight up. Good point. That's my. Very Sometimes I do the side weight straighten too. That's yeah. interesting. I never. I need a block like that. Yeah. I've never seen oil come with a block like that. This? No. Oh, oh yeah. This. Oh you this. Like yeah. It's, it's a great big block. Yeah. yeah. I love it. It's a brick. Yeah. Carbon pad. Carbon pad. There's a graphite place in Ontario. So you can go there and just buy all their scrap. coming right down and pretty soon I'm going to want to grab it with a 3 mil or a 6 mil inside there. Yeah, I think we're going to uh, 3 mil. Look how narrow and long that tunnel is. That's good. Huh? Start the masher down, maybe you'll uh, we'll plug it. Me? Sometimes they just get a small plane that shoot it up. Yeah, that's right. Uh, GTT's got a very penetrating plane. And I can get in there still with my little piece of it's probably a river. Four mil rod. What? River needs a Yeah. Safety break. I need a mirror. Yeah. You finished that mark on that. It's all done yet. It's almost done. Oh, okay. I got one more set of dots to do and then I got to pull it off the handle and yeah. shit. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty much done. So I'm just going to use a bit of this clear rod. I'm going to try to reach in there and grab that. The one problem is it's too narrow with the way it is. So I'm going to widen that out with tweezers. It's like a minute. I'm trying to get my torch a little deeper in there. And we're going to reach right in there, braced on my torch. It's like those. So I stuck to the side, so I'm just going to pause, just let it sit, and I'll wiggle it loose. And we can maybe pull the opening a little bigger. I stuck to the side right in the opening. I always do that. It's a narrow opening. That's right, as long as you keep pulling at it, you can pull on these, these styles, but it doesn't mess up the pattern. What I do is I uh, spread my hole just a little with my tweezers here. Oh, nice. And now I can get in there a little. Nice move. Cut that end off because you want a fresh, fairly cold end here. I'm going to heat it right in there 
Lots of heat too. We're gonna need to pull a bit of glass over here. Got it. Now you gotta wait a sec. Wait a sec. And now pull that out. Or fill in. Not to stuck to the side again, but I'll still pull out. Yeah, do you see that? center out by heating it up, grabbing it with a piece of rod and pulling it out. It's almost to the surface here. Why don't you talk louder so everyone can hear? You got a secret to share. Who's talking? You can tell the whole class. Seriously, Jesus, you guys are all like whispering over there. Okay. Really nice trick, okay? Really electric, nice trick. Electric blue velvet with Illuminati on top of it. This is a super sparkly blue that doesn't boil, and Illuminati is the black light color that doesn't boil. Illuminati over top of the blue electric velvet, and it becomes this great sparkly green that I use for a lot of my eyeballs. That is black light. It glows black light. Amazing. So just, and you've got some weird saying it doesn't fume off when you're working. Neither that of these colors my, do. Neither no, like, you know, like that, like yeah. black lights, I don't know. It kind of grosses you out. It grosses you out. It grosses you out too, right? It's uranium. Yeah. But it's not, but if it was <laughs> uranium that could be used in a bomb, they wouldn't sell it to the public. So it's not like... Well, I mean, there's... It's like, not, if, you got, if you get your Geiger counter, if you yeah. actually have one and run it over, it spikes on the uh, uranium glass. Yeah. But it's not like At the same anywhere time, near enough to hurt a human. All the metals yeah, are yeah. huffing. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I used to live in North Edmonton. <laughs> That's where all the chemical plants are. Yeah. I just wondered, if it was hot to get to the first time, so I was talking about the glow in the dark glass. Yeah. I was like, no. Well, I had a guy email me, he's a fan of the show, and he emailed me because he heard me talking about it on a show. And he said, do me a favor, I really like you. Don't ever touch that glass. And then he went on to explain how he's a physicist and he has proof and over here. And uh, this is not a safe practice for us. I don't know how they could get away with selling Illuminati if it was. I think he just got to tax it. He just talks a little bit. Well, his point was the dust, the dust will kill you, was that guy's point. So if he's not crazy, well, you should be avoiding glass dust. That is the truth. There we go, I got it folks. You got it. Right down to the point. Nice. So let's just compress. Yeah, it's a little toy mouse. That's Star's favorite toy. Thank you. Oh, that didn't go far. Oh well. That was it, eh? That was it. Swing and a miss. I'll have a dab in a second. I just got to uh, flatten the end of this base of this flower here. And then we're going to add it to the other one. Yeah, exactly. And no color between you and your black and blue. No, no, no watch this. Yeah, it's going to be kind of sweet. They're going to be two flowers are going to butt up to each other. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Who said that? Nina Gallery. Requiem for a tree. So we're going to heat up them both, and I'm just going to basically slam them together from one side down to the next. Just roll it onto each other. Well, it's going to be clear, right? The, the, uh, the center. I'm going to try to match up the center. Yeah, yeah. We could put something on the uh, equator if you want. I'll show you what it looks like here in a sec. Oh, no, no, I think you, I think you nailed it. It's 
really good. Space on some dogs on the equator and then. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is Line up and it, 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 yeah, there's two random um, uh, ways to do the flower, and they're attached, right? I think so that's cool. Yeah, yeah, two see, different styles. You want to see the two come together. That's sweet. Right? Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's a good point. Right? One's, one's above ground and one's going underground. Well, this is hard because I have an orange and two skulls. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Is this glowing too much to see or it or what? Uh, but you can get the pattern, yeah, it's red hot so you don't get any color though. But we can see the two flowers ask to ask for sure. Beauty, boys. Beauty. With the air traps up there. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 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 That's I'm hot too, it's really warm in here. Wow. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people in like Hamilton. Yeah. Alright, so basically with a marble you want to do half at a time. And sometimes you go a little over half, but it's generally to sum up a half at a time. And you start with what's close to the right size, maybe a bit big, and then you work your way down in size with marble balls. Yeah. Can I steal this one? Yep. So the first one I'll do is this size here. And I've got the end of the marble quite hot and liquid. And I'm just going to get it inside the marble and then I'm going to rotate it kind of on, a, on an angle, not just into the bottom, but over to the side like that. Do you find sometimes when you're making marbles, the longer the handle, the easier to spin? Thinner the handle. Thinner the handle. Thinner the handle. Thinner the handle. Thinner right. Not too long, just then we'll go down. And thanks for bringing that up. Right now I'm still in my original great big handle. We're going to go down in size on our handle as well as in size on the marble walls. So that's pretty already perfect. We can just now we'll go down in size on the marble mold here. We'll go down to the next size. Just gently set it in there. Then we roll it. We're just looking at up to half and slightly over. Oh, is that your marble mold? This is awesome. Yeah, why? This is on the camera. Look at this. <laughs> Boom! Blowfish is here. She brought her mold. Oh, Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Now, I don't dare use this. And why? It's dry. No, it's wet. Well, it's kind of wet. Oh, you did just pull it out? No, oh, anyway, no. Can, it will smoke a bit, but that's fine. Too. No. You should that's try one rolling. Well, it's not wet enough, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will smoke a bit, if anything, but it's... Well, that's right. That's cool. Well, I already had it pretty much ready, yeah. so that's really cool. Anyway, so now I'm going to yeah, switch sides. Yeah. I'm going to go down to a smaller putty. I'm going to a 6 mil on this side now. You guys doing it again? So why? What did you just say? Do you mind telling the rest of those folks at home? Why is this marble mold so awesome to you, Ashley? You guys, it's so secretive. Whispering to each other. So what Ashley was just saying that with the middle water in here, the marble, when you're spinning it, it almost creates a barrier. It bubbles, right? The water. Yeah, it's a, a lubricant. Water goes a lubricant. But anyways, yeah, and, and so it keeps the marble off the wood. Yeah, and then you're spinning it. It spins really fast in the. Yeah. In the so soft glass waters can take wet newspaper yeah. or what else? I've, I've seen that. Right here. Yeah, you went that way. Yeah. I was like, no way. In your hand. Yeah. And they'll, and they'll shape. They'll shape it in their hands. Yeah. 
right? And spin it with the soaking wet and the glass is not there. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, and, and for carving, like I use, a, sometimes use a metal blade and I dip it in water and carve. So you, yeah, you know exactly what you've got sizzle, right? Sizzle. Like, sizzle. Like, but it's like when I yeah. use my armpit and it's accidentally like hot glass. The sweat oh. keeps it from shattering. <laughs> Not the smoke is smelling. <laughs> yeah. So it's like the apple. Yeah. The sweaty business we're in. <laughs> the armpit swipe is a legitimate technique for cleaning. Actually, it's actually awesome for cleaning up raw. Yeah. I use all the glasses. It's what all those Japanese artists are doing. Right? Oh, brother. It's not so bad, eh? Oh, that's really good. And just put all that clear into it. Hopefully I guess right. So the guessing game, how much clear do you need on this side? So I tore that handle off, and I just guessed how much clear to form the rest of this marble. Well, let's find out if I guessed right. So I'm rolling in the marble mold here. Just pushing into the base of that marble mold. And then you end up going sideways on the marble wall. And hopefully, if you, oh, and you don't want it too liquid or you'll distort your flour inside. But we didn't do that, so that's pretty good. Now, yeah, really yeah, see that? That's nice, eh? Petals, really, and they're multicolored petals. Yeah. Multicolored things on that range, right? So they're really, uh, you see the lines. Okay. You see the lines of the range. Yeah, what I was visualizing that was the framework. It's not like that at all. The way the center was looking. Yeah. I'm just heating it on the equator with a small flame. I've got to get the glass to gather up there a little more. I've got to be careful of my punty. <laughs> so it's sometimes I'm pushing and sometimes I'm pulling on this, but rolling it sideways. Really close to round, it's just got the slightest rim in the middle here, so we'll just keep heating it like this a couple more times and we'll be perfect. I think we'll move down in size. They are indeed. Yeah. So, Blowfish, <laughs> Ashley, tell us uh, you were at a market today. Kelowna, yeah. so people can find your glass in Kelowna at the farmer's market? Yeah, yeah, Wednesday and Saturdays, and then online. Right. We have a presence online. Bit. Online? So where online? How do we find you? Well, on our website, like glowfishglassworks.com. Glowfishglassworks.com? Yeah. We have to talk about something else, too, that she does. That's yeah, I was getting to that. It's yeah. quite amazing, eh? The like, eternal glass? Yeah. yeah. I'll get to that, too, exactly. That's this pretty is, cool. This is super this is special and bring this glass to the... Uh, Emotional level, it sure does. Explain what you do. Yeah. Oh, I just want to. I take uh, people or pets' uh, ashes and I put it inside the glass. You encase people or yeah. pets' ashes. Yeah. I think I might have a, one of a barbell. Cool. Let's show the camera what that looks like. Basically, she gets contacted or she she advertises, and if somebody dies and you get your family member cremated, she makes beautiful marbles or pendants, I believe. Yeah, definitely. Pendants too? And I have a marble. This is a marble, and this is human? Or yeah, it's my grandpa. Uh, grandpa's in the shop! <laughs> Fucking right! Hey, Grandpa! Is, this is <laughs> the next level, yeah. people. Hey, oh, buddy. This is Grandpa right there. Next level. That's pretty cool. Ashley, have you ever made anyone's ashes into, like, have they ever been to attach the bombs? Uh, no, but I just had someone request that. Let's so, do it. Yeah, exactly. They wanted, right. either I would just I'd love to collab with you on that. That would be yeah, really fun. So much fun with that. Well, not, I say fun, but I mean, I enjoy my work, but not so fun. But that would be really meaningful. That's really cool. People really get something out of it. Oh, like, yeah. Really so do, do you normally make one, or do you make a series and every member of the family gets one? Oh, I just... Depends on what they want? Well, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I find people with their pets and they get they get one. Well, family members, they all get one. You know, whatever they like, you know, like and then some people don't want to wear right. their hair. Right. Some people want to wear it. Or other paperweights. I just like it because it takes on the galaxy space like look, which is so fitting for what it is, right? The stars. 
Well, he's, he's forever. Yeah. Ian, you can, because I didn't know why to burn all the No, and this is something beautiful and amazing that we can appreciate. And if you don't want anyone to know, no one knows what it is. That's the other thing. Like with my ring, right? People are just like, well, I like your ring, but oh, I don't need to tell them. My grandfather's actually doing it. I don't need to, right? Gotcha. That's what people Really amazing. Oh, well, thanks for this. Yeah, it's awesome. But yeah, if you're into that, because I've had friends that are quite... Oh, really into that, totally. Yeah, really good. I think that's, like, one of the best ideas I've ever seen. Maybe I can slide in and show the camera. Yeah, you should. Please do, yeah. Very I'm coming cool. in by you. When I first heard of that, I was, like, really obsessed with it. I was like, like, my dog's getting kind of older. So yeah, I was, like, no, as soon as he passed, it's mad. Yeah, like, I was doing. Can you see that in there, yeah. I'm sorry. That is uh, Blowfish's grandpa in there. Hey, so I'm going to switch punties now. Every time you switch punties, you put it on a bit uh, colder seal, a little hard, easier to come off without leaving a scar. So this time it's going to be a very gentle one. Hopefully that one comes off without a scar. Now we'll remove this one. And this one was put on so hard, I'm not even gonna try just cracking it off and removing it. I'm gonna flame remove it. I'm gonna remove the scar with the handle here. And again, a little bit of a guessing game as to how much you leave finish the marble perfect. If you're a little short, you'll have this little tiny flat face. You don't want that. So we're pretty much there. This time I'm just going to start rolling here and we'll go this way. It is, yeah. Look at all that time we see. Yeah, because I've always been doing like black and then colors on the back. That's another reason that grit sometimes on the back is good too. And one dip is color, but you still get light too. Or you can keep adding and you know, yeah. you know, you know, nice smoke, right? Yeah. Also, I hold it up to the dark background and try to just see the equator. Make sure you're not missing any divots or wrinkles or anything. It looks pretty good. It's a little distorted here. It's not too bad. I like it. Yeah, it does, There you go. Let's get it to the other side and finish it off. And actually, what I like to do at this stage is I'll just take it into here and, uh, yeah, you get me. Go. Double check, it's good. You can gently give it a little spin. That's perfect. Right? Yeah, it looks good. It's really shiny on obtainium. Did you use on those pedals? No wrinkles, no. That's the electric oh, blue yeah. velvet. Electric blue velvet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like in the seat, it looks like. So. Keep water, keep it wet, keep water in yeah, there for spinning. Yeah, it will over time, right? So you want to finish shaping with graphite. But I do prefer this for the initial shape. That's a lot of tools. <laughs> yeah. I need one. <laughs> it does look like a mallet. I love it. I pull it, it out. Yeah, that's a good marble. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have that. Well, it turned itself off and worked on that marble so a little bit long to heat back up. Cool. That's the collab that we made at the gathering one year. Oh, Chris Kimenez. Yeah. Oh, 
against repeal as well as the Owen Smith case so it's super important uh, uh, things they're doing and they're doing it in a great way so uh, congratulations to those folks and everyone involved and that is happening pretty soon if it isn't already and that's down at CCHQ tonight second floor I believe <laughs> got my fancy dad I'm saying like that's all See the reclaim, uh, the chit chatty peanut gallery. I'm having to shout to talk to my own goddamn camera here, folks. I'm just teasing. I got a big voice, luckily. But check out this reclaim, uh, here. That's, well, we're saving up for a rainy day. Yeah, I, I uh, made it so all the resin collects here. And then a lot of people reuse that. Some people use it in edibles, and some people. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm just using I've never seen that. People water it? Yeah. Yeah. So. You just want to kind of water in there. It's not going to affect you. Like you get water clogged. Nails are already up to temperature. That's nice. It's a nice big blob like this. Yeah, we'll just On a nice pink Cadillac dabber. Oh no, it's not pink Cadillac. It's Boro Sticks pink. Time viewer, now a star of the show. <laughs> Look at him go. Thanks. Yeah, buddy. You get grow that fucking beard back, though, will you? Freaking me out over here. I know. Baby face. So what I'm doing Call is baby just face uh, glass, right? <laughs> baby face glass. I like I'm that. I'm just heating up in between the dots that I laid. I laid two rows of dots. I'm using the same color that I used to back the marble, and then I kind of just 
Heat it up a little so it's glowing. Heat this up so it's really hot. Stick it in there and twist it, and it's gonna yeah. twist those knots together. Give it a little pull and wiggle her off. Well, fucking, aren't you a pro? Thanks. Seriously, <laughs> that is man. perfect. That's perfect. So he's heating up all between the dots. Out of the flame, give her a twist, and uh, wiggle, wiggle, snap, pinwheeling. <coughs> Pardon me. How do you do it? I just take a three mil and twist it up. Yeah. But I've never done it with the color, but I've never tried color either. I do it sometimes you with the color, the same color of the backing. So the yeah, center yeah. of the swirl is yeah, yeah. with That's the backing, cool. yeah. I've heard that some people don't like doing it with the uh air one just because it leaves like a hollow kind of knot that you can see it. Yeah, yeah. 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 So thanks so much. We'll see you next week. And Emily, Christine, photography online. Yeah. She's, gonna, she's gonna hit the big red button. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Cheers. <laughs>